All right, good afternoon, guys. This is Joe Craig here with RX Smart Gear at Power Monkey Intensive Camp. We got Dr. Isaiah here, who's going to be doing a little demo for us. We're going to talk about uh, jumping position and hand positioning in regards to uh, single unders, double unders, triple unders, and so on. So what I want Dr. Isaiah to do for me is I'll take that PVC pipe. Can I have you turn at a profile view for me this way? So what we really want to do, guys, is focus on A, our normal positioning as we're just standing normally. We want to try and take that and we want to make it into a more tight position so that we can absorb the impact of that repeated motion in a jump rope. Because I, normally, jump rope especially, you're going to have a lot of repetitions. So first thing we want to do, Isaiah, is we want to bring our feet all the way together for me. We want to have one conducive unit. Next, we want to take that lumbar curve here and we want to neutralize that lumbar curve. So I want you to take, yeah, there you go, exactly. So what Isaiah did is went straight to a hollow. You want to be careful with that though because you don't want to be too gymnastics hollow. So he's just going to take that curve in the small of his back and he's going to pull his hips back and tuck his butt so that that goes away and he's going to stand up tall. So what he did there is he stacked his shoulders over his hips, over his knees, and then in the jumping position, if he were to rise onto the balls of his feet, He's now stacked everything over his toes, right? So now we're more ready to absorb the impact of that repeated motion during the jump rope. So next we wanna talk about hand positioning from there. So Dr. Isaiah has this PVC pipe and for, for purposes of PVC pipe, this is our jump rope handles. So this is one handle and this is the other handle. We just have a connection in the middle to show you more of uh, what we're looking for here. So what I want Dr. Isaiah to do is bring his PVC pipe up to about the midline of his hip crease right about there, right? And so what we see up here is immediately, and most, most CrossFit athletes will do this, we have engagement through the scaps and the traps. So I want you to drape your shoulders and let your scaps and traps relax for me. There we go. So see that really doesn't change our positioning very much. So the difference between shoulders and traps engaged, now we're fatiguing a little bit more. So if we just drape the shoulders and let them relax, and we keep that hand position right at about the hip bone, what we're doing is we're A, giving ourselves symmetry. So we have same clearance overhead, same clearance underfoot as we're jumping and we're giving ourselves a little tactile cue. We want to keep that PVC pipe or jump rope, if you will, pressed against the center line of our body so that our hands stay in position. As far as positioning away from the body, he's naturally fallen into a comfortable position that's about four inches from his body. With regards to that, you have about four to six inches, but thinking about it from a weightlifting standpoint, the closer we keep our hands to our body, the easier, the more loads we can move, right? Same thing applies to the jump rope. The more he can keep his shoulders, or his hands in line with his shoulders, the more he can relax and rely more on the snap of his elbow into his wrist than actually using his shoulders. If you guys are interested in finding out more information, you can always shoot us an email at coaching at rxmarkair.com. Come check out a camp. We have Power Monkey Intensive and PMC Camp 10 coming up, as well as the uh, Power Monkey YouTube channel.